this is the fourth five minute reflection two and a half thousand years ago a yogi by the name of Kasapa went to see the Buddha and he had a question to ask him rather an important profound question he said to him do I cause my own suffering sometimes we take this view don't we it's all my fault I'm so stupid God I make such terrible mistakes why did I do this to myself I'm always getting myself into a horrendous mess it's all my fault I have to got nobody else it's just me this is what I'm like the Buddha replied to Kasapa to the question do I cause my own suffering the Buddha said don't say that Kasapa so then Kasapa switched his view again okay if I don't cause it to myself if I'm not bringing it on myself then another or others are doing it Suff is suffering therefore caused by others maybe my mother didn't love me enough maybe that person just treated me so disrespectfully maybe those people who keep slagging me off or putting me down or treating me so horribly in the past or in the present maybe those people they've, they've brought all this suffering on me and that's why I'm unhappy that's why I'm depressed that's why I'm suffering it's not, not my fault it's their fault they did it to me the Buddha said Kasapa don't say that so then Kasapa said okay if I haven't caused it others haven't brought this unhappiness these problems this anguish in my life maybe it's both then it's some of it's my fault yes yes I'm, I'm partly to blame I've got to take some responsibility I've caused it and maybe there's something of the other person or those people they did it so between us both of us did it and that's why I'm miserable the Buddha said don't say that Kasapa and Kasapa looked at him and then Kasapa said to him all right it's not myself I don't cause it others don't cause it between us we don't cause it then it must come by chance just by fate just by destiny my destiny just because uh, by God kind of punishment for my sins just by fortuitous circumstances it just like that it happened just by chance the Buddha said don't say that Kasapa you can imagine at this point Kasapa not me not others not both not neither so you you're, not, you're saying then Buddha he said to the Buddha there isn't any suffering Kasapa said to him and the Buddha replied don't say that Kasapa you can imagine by this point this uh, yogi with his questioning mind was really bemused if not confused and he said well you're still saying there's suffering and you're saying it's not coming from self it's not coming from others it's not coming from both and it's not happening by chance where is it coming from and then the Buddha began to give some teachings on what a kind of technical term called dependent arising putting it very simply it arises because the causes and conditions are there for it to arise really reflect on this therefore we're not pointing the accusing finger at ourselves we're not pointing the accusing finger at another or others and when we are don't forget we've got three fingers pointing to ourselves and we are pointing the finger at somebody else we're not saying well it's a bit of both and trying to work out which bits it is and which it isn't and we're not saying well it just happens it's the hand of God it's the fate or whatever let's see what are the causes and conditions that bring it about and to really reflect on that and feel our way into that and to look at that and to see what's 
changes we can make. It's an extraordinary message. I was speaking in a talk in India a few weeks ago and I said every psychologist, every therapist, every counsellor, everybody in human relationships, every politician should listen and reflect deeply on this extraordinary insight of the Buddha. Not caused by me, not caused by others, not by both, not by fortuitous circumstances. To look carefully and to see what the causes and conditions that can help to resolve these human problems. This is a noble way of looking, a non-blaming way of looking. Please remember this, reflect on it, see it through your own experience. Thank you for listening.